A simple set of tests are required to determine if you might be a good candidate for the Zephyr valves. So let's get started. Pulmonary function tests or PFTs. These are a series of tests where you basically blow into a machine and we're able to calculate your lung function. These tests will allow your doctor to get measurements of how much air is being trapped in your lungs and if your ability to breathe in is significantly impaired. CAT scan with Stratix report. Your doctor will order a CAT scan of the chest. We will then take your scan and download it to a software system that will generate a Stratix report. The Stratix report can help your doctor understand if you're a good candidate for the procedure and if so, which part of the lung should be treated. ABG blood test. Your doctor will run a blood test that measures the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide level in your blood to make sure these values are within acceptable range. Six minute walk test. You will be asked to walk for six minutes to measure how far you can walk. This test can be done with your oxygen if you need it. And lastly, your doctor may also do a test called an echocardiogram. This is to make sure your heart and lungs are healthy enough for you to have the procedure. Now that you're aware of the eligibility test, you will hopefully feel more comfortable talking to your doctor. There's also a doctor discussion guide, which you can download and share with your personal doctor, or you could sign up for the Talk to My Doctor program. This is a program that will send your personal doctor information about the Zephyr valve treatment and if it's right for you.